Welcome to Seattle, the Emerald City. In today's video, we're kicking things off with lunch at the iconic Salumi, a local favorite known for its mouthwatering cured meats and artisan sandwiches. After that, we'll dive into the heart of Seattle's oldest neighborhood, Pioneer Square, where history and charm meet at every corner. Then, we'll take you underground on Seattle's famous underground tour, uncovering the city's hidden past beneath the bustling streets. And finally, be sure to watch until the end and we'll show you the brand new Seattle waterfront overlook with stunning views that showcase Seattle like never before. Let's get started. All right, hello from Seattle and I am at Salumi's in Seattle and this is an uh, iconic sandwich shop. I think Salumi means kind of like meat or butcher in Italian. So they have great sandwiches, a lot of great cold cuts and things like that. And the late great Anthony Mort Bourdain said uh, that Salumi's in Seattle is one of the, I think it was the 13 places you need to eat at before you die. So we're here in honor of Anthony Bourdain, I guess, but I've been here before, it's really good. So I've got the, the, the porchetta sandwich, which is a pork shoulder roasted. And uh, so let's take a look at this. We got. Oh man, look at that. Mm. Look at that on the baguette, roasted. Oh man. We've got an eggplant, um, um, eggplant parmesan sandwich coming later, which is a vegetarian option. But uh, this is definitely not vegetarian. And uh, so let me take a bite of this and just check it out. Like, oh man. The pork is so tender and it's flavored. Outstanding. So you come to Seattle, come to the Pioneer Square, which is the original neighborhood of Seattle, come to Salumi's, get you a sandwich. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so we have our, our soup now, and the, and the soup of the day change every week, not every day. Um, so I have it posted on the board up at the front. And today we have uh, mushroom and barley. And look at that. That looks Excellent. So let's take a bite. Get some mushroom there. Mm. That is exceptional soup. Really good on a nice, cool, drizzly Seattle day. Pop in here and get a bowl of this hot soup. That would be absolutely perfect. Look at that. Mm -hmm. ah, it's outstanding. That's delicious soup. Okay, so now we have our second sandwich, the eggplant parmesan, and look at that. Mm. Oh, look at that big piece, I love eggplant, look at that. Big piece of eggplant. Mm. Man, it looks delicious. Got a little bit of that marinara sauce. Mm. Man. If it's possible, I think this might even be better than the pork shoulder. The pork shoulder was great, but this eggplant is exceptional and it is just the, the baguette is good the eggplant itself is is delicious has some cheese in there so this is a vegetarian option it's not vegan because it has cheese on it but um, it is really really good so come to Salumi and if you're vegetarian try the eggplant parmesan sandwich and it is exceptional you will not be disappointed it's delicious mm -hmm. after a delicious meal like that we're ready to hit the streets. Let's start our walk through Pioneer Square and see what this historic neighborhood has to offer. As we stroll through Pioneer Square, you'll notice the charming cobblestone streets and beautiful architecture dating back to the late 1800s. This neighborhood is where Seattle's story began, making it one of the most iconic spots in the city. A quick word of caution. Pioneer Square sometimes has a significant population of questionable people. And while it feels quite safe during the day, it can feel a bit uneasy at night. Be sure to stay aware of your surroundings, especially if you're exploring after dark. While you're here, don't miss the Pioneer Square Fireman's Memorial. This bronze sculpture created to honor the firefighters who lost their lives in the Great Seattle Fire of 1889, 
is a powerful reminder of the bravery and sacrifice that helped shape the city we see today. In the heart of Pioneer Square is this small park featuring a clinket totem pole. It's a symbol of the region's Native American heritage and a great spot to pause and take in the history that surrounds us. Now it's time to dig deeper, literally. We're about to take the famous underground tour where we'll go beneath the streets to discover the original Seattle, buried after the Great Fire of 1889. Here we are, beneath the surface. These tunnels are a time capsule of what Seattle used to be. Back in the day, these were the streets and storefronts of the original city before it was rebuilt on top of itself. As we walk through the underground, you can still see parts of old storefronts, crumbling sidewalks, and these fascinating glass skylights that once let light in from above. It's like stepping back in time to the late 1800s. The tour guides are full of incredible stories, from how the city's sewage system used to flood at high tide to how the rebuilding efforts shaped the Seattle we know today. It's a fun and, inform and informative way to learn about the city's wild past. After a journey through Seattle's hidden history, we're back above ground. It's amazing how much of the city's early days are still preserved beneath our feet. All right, welcome to Seattle and the newly opened Seattle Overlook Walk, which just opened um, last week, by the way. And I'm here on a beautiful day. This is actually in the middle of October, and it's absolutely uh, stunning here today. Very beautiful sunshine. I'm gonna take you and show you this a little bit of this overlook walk which is really nice and they just opened this so if you've been to seattle before and maybe it's been a few years you might remember like basically going right through downtown and kind of splitting the city was the alaska way viaduct and that kind of separated a lot of downtown uh, from the waterfront and it was just a, a very ugly uh motorway that went through the middle of the city so they they tore that down and uh they replaced it with a tunnel i think underneath but up above they've uh they've really done a nice job of uh, making this walkway in that connects basically pike's market to the waterfront and they've got uh, greenery and and parks and uh, just really nice place down below so i'm going to show you um what it looks like walk around here and you could probably see a little bit of the city behind me, but I've got to show you the waterfront in just a second. It is just really, really nice. And they've done a great job. Good job, Seattle. This is uh, a really nice effort on uh, behalf of the city and city planners. So I'm going to flip this camera around. So uh, take a look at this. We've got that little pier yeah, this is about that goes down. And you see the traffic comes in and basically goes around right around here and it used to come straight through and so you've got that pier that goes down and there's looks like there's a um, some sort of a a court in the middle of that I'm not sure which which what's that's for playing for maybe pickleball I guess and then you've got the bay and it just looks really really nice especially on a beautiful day like this and you've got the aquarium at the uh, Seattle Ferris wheel. It's just really nice. Beautiful day here. And for the middle of October, this is, this is kind of rare for Seattle. And it actually, it was pretty cloudy earlier this morning, but it's really gotten nice. So there you have it, the Seattle waterfront Overlook, Seattle Overlook, a new addition to the city, and it really connects um, you know, parts of downtown with the waterfront, which is which is missing for a long time. It was kind of difficult. It was very, um, the city was very uh, disjointed there for a while. So, for example, if you were in Pikes Market, it was kind of difficult to get to the waterfront or whatever. But now you just walk down here, and you've got this beautiful walkway with this great view. Really nice. So. Uh, when you're in Seattle, you gotta come down here, plan a trip to Seattle, get over here, check out this, uh, this walkway. It's uh, really nice. Thanks for joining us on today's adventure. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more travel tips and hidden gems. Until next time, happy exploring!